let's go ahead and take care of this battery question. Everyone, question very, very quickly. If you just scan the text, is this a percentage question? Is this a percentage question? Some people saying yes, another person saying no, some people saying no. Yes, no, some are saying proportion. Mikey thinks this is Christian Mingle, trying to find out where people are from. Focus up. Yes, okay, cool. So the answer is no. Although you do see a percent listed, this is not a percentage question. And it really just depends on how you look at it. You know, for example, of this previous question, this could have been solved as a percentage or a proportion. We went with a proportion because it was faster. Here, you couldn't solve this as a percentage. We're not taking a percent of anything here. We're talking about a battery's level and we read the battery's charge in terms of a percentage, but we're not taking a percentage of anything. So let me go ahead and start to finish, show you what's going on. So here's what we have. We see here this, that we see that, uh, what is the expected battery's charge when Thomas watches 20 videos? So basically what we're saying here is this. We're saying we wanna know the battery's charge after 20 videos. So this is how I would write this out. I would go ahead and write it like this. After 20 videos, the charge equals blank percent. And if a problem like this is kind of hard for you, don't worry, you're not alone. And because of that, I've made sure that in our full program, you'll be able to take practice tests for specific concepts. So even one just like this, you can see right here, you can take a full practice test, it's timed for you. And at the end of it, you'll be able to see step-by-step -step solutions exactly how to get things done. That way you know what to do, you improve every time you take a practice test, as opposed to sitting there hoping that you memorize these questions and they'll be on the test. So don't go for those hopeless things and actually go for something that's proven to work. I'll see you in the full program and let's get back to the video. Now I'm going to show you how this is a much, much different question than your traditional percentage where you had the percent times the original equals a result. I'm going to show you why this is very different because what we see here, again, we want to know after 20 videos, what's the battery's charge at? Let's take a look at the information to see what's going on. Right up here, it says, hey, Thomas's phone battery began with a charge of 82% and consumes 3% for each video he watches. So if we just take a, a look here and we just build up a little rectangle right here, again, I can draw perfect rectangles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this here to here. So here's what's going on, my party people. What we have going on is that, hey, we're at 82% in the beginning. And then after 20 videos, twenty videos later, we are at a certain percentage here. We don't know what that is. We're trying to figure out what that is. But that's essentially what happens. Everyone, do you notice that the percent that is going, you know, the battery's life, we're not taking a percentage. We're not doing 82% of anything. We're not doing 3% of anything. We're simply saying, hey, we start off at 82%. After we watch a video, boom, minus 3%, 79%. Watch another video, 76%. Watch another video, 73 and 70 and 67. And it continues. Do we see that this is a constant movement? of your battery and not taking a percentage of a value. Everyone, do we see that? Yes or no? What we're talking about in this instance is essentially, again, a, a mark which is represented as a percentage that's going down as we watch more videos. That's what's happening. This isn't a traditional percentage question. 
this is actually going to be a linear equation. So this is going to be found in your arithmetic reasoning course, unit six. And this is going to be y equals mx plus b. That's what this is. For those of you who called it out earlier, great job. Great job. So here's how we take care of business here. We need to understand the pieces of the puzzle. We need to understand the pieces of the puzzle. So let me go ahead and show you what those pieces are. mx plus b. So here's what we have, everybody. So your y, let me actually start with the b here. Your b is what you have in the beginning. The b is what you have in the beginning. The x is typically going to be time or what happens, you know, what passes. Typically, it's time that passes, but it's basically uh, time or basically what's passing. M, everybody help me out. What's M going to be? What does M represent? M represents your what? Your rate, yes. And it's always designated by the word per or for every or each, yes. That definitely does the trick there. And then Y represents the result. The results after X. So in this case, the result is the battery's life after those 20 videos. So just to recap one more time, again, B represents your amount in the beginning. X represents what passes. Typically that's time, but basically what happens between the beginning and end. The rate is the quickness or what's given away by the word per or what's happening as the time goes on. And then lastly, the Y is the result. So Y equals MX plus B. You'll see how these all fit. Watch this. Everyone, what do we see? Thomas's phone battery began with a charge of 82%. Everyone, yes or no, is that the beginning amount? Began with a charge of 82%. Is that the beginning amount? Absolutely is. So we know when to use this formula, when you have a beginning amount, an ending amount, and a rate. That's how you know to use this. When you have a beginning and an end and a rate that changes things in between, that's when you know you're using y equals mx plus b. Every single time. Write that down again. When you have a beginning, an end, and a rate, you always use y equals mx plus b. Again, for the purposes of the ASVAB. There are physics principles and things like that that change things just a little bit, but for the scope of the ASVAB, this is all you gotta worry about. This is all you have to worry about. Cool, gotcha. So there we are. We have our beginning amount. So that's gonna be the B, that's gonna be 82. Now, let's keep reading here. It says, consumes 3% for each video he watches. Everyone, is it true that 3% for every video he watches is the same thing as saying 3% per video? Is that the same thing as saying that? 3% per video. Is that the same thing? Absolutely is. Absolutely is. If we're saying it consumes 3% for every video, we're saying 3% per video. That's what we're saying. So let me write that down for you right here. Let's highlight that with brown. There we go. Boom. So we'll write that down over here. So this is going to be three. Now we have to ask ourselves, especially when it comes to the rate, there's a very important question you have to ask yourself. Is that rate positive or negative? And here's how you'll answer that. From the beginning to the end, right over here, from the beginning to the end, everyone, is that battery life going up or going down? 
As we watch videos, is that battery life going up or going down? As we keep doom scrolling and watching more videos, it's going down, right? That means that our rate is negative. It has a negative impact on the result, right? The more videos you watch, the lower that battery goes. So it is a negative relationship. That is a negative three that we have to write down. Yeah. And so next up, let's go ahead and see what else we have because we're still missing the X and the Y. What is the X? Well, the X is going to be the 20 videos. We're watching 20 videos. That's what passes. Every video you watch, minus 3%. Another video, 3%. Another video, 3%. So the time that passes is actually going to be the videos you watch. And so that's where this belongs. That's 20 videos. And we're looking for the results. We're looking for the battery life at that point. Yeah, perhaps it's spoiled, perhaps. But there we have it. Again, when I see that we have a beginning amount, an ending amount, and a rate, you always use y equals mx plus b. Now that we have it, now that we have it set up, we have y equals the rate, which is a negative three, down 3% 3 for every video. We watch 20 videos, and we started at 82%. We write all that down, put them in the right spots, and all you have to do now is solve. That's it. All you have to do now is solve, and you are good. The hardest part about practicing for the ASVAB, in my opinion, is knowing when you're ready. Knowing that you are good to go and move on from this topic, and that's why our full program has a progress dashboard, letting you know exactly what you're good at and what you need to work on. And the great thing is, you can join our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. That's our trial that's available for you. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or click the link in the description of this video to get started and have yourself a good time. Go ahead and do a mass web party, people. I'll see you in there. Everyone, what is negative three times 20? Hit me. That'll be what? Negative three times 20 is, appreciate you, Jared, negative 60 plus 82. And everybody, negative 60 plus 82 is the same as saying 82 minus 60. It's the same exact thing. So we can go ahead and write y equals 82 minus 60. No problem there, which is going to be y equals 30, excuse me, 22. So the resulting battery life that we have left is 22%. You have 22% charge left. And there's your answer. After 20 videos, you'll have 22%. And on the off chance that you didn't know, we have a free class actually once a week. We have three classes total, but I would love to have you in at least a free class. That way I can give you that momentum, that confidence to continue raising your score. I'm Coach Anderson. Go ahead and text next free class to 833-321-0182 and we'll reply as soon as we can with all the information, letting you know where to go to ACE the ASVAB. I'll see you there.